Around the West Country, you're going to see a lot of these little centre console boats, which are great little harbour and inshore boats. You're going to come across things like Boston Whaler and Delkey Dory. But this is the buy local option. This is the Sulcombe Flyer, and this is an early example, which means it actually was built in Sulcombe. They're now built over in South Wales. With it, you get a little centre console, seating for six people, not a lot of storage on there, so you'll need a grab bag, but it's a great little boat. Quite low freeboard, but that's very typical of this design, but it's got a nice little deep V hull on it. Great boat to go and spend an afternoon out on. We found this slightly larger Sulcum Flyer. This is another original Sulcum built centre console. Because this is a bit bigger, you actually are getting a lot more boat. The big thing to look at here is the amount of freeboard we've got. It's a much taller boat. The boat's going to sit higher in the water, and what that means is that you're going to have you've got a lower deck and a safer deck. With the kids or the family on board here, you're going to feel a lot more secure and safe. This Sulcum Flyer has obviously had a pretty hard life, but most of the damage on it is superficial, or certainly nothing structural on there. You can see it's covered with these marks around here. I think that's been caused by the fact that it's been moored bow in to uh, a pontoon or something and lots of other tenders around it with their outboards up have just been taking lumps out of it. It can easily be repaired and indeed it will be. Other things to look out for are things like star crazing. Now this grab rail is still very very solid but and very secure but obviously it's been used to tie the boat up. It's put this under stress and therefore you've got some stress cracking around here which can be ground out and re-gelled, look good as new. On the plus side, this is a very well built boat. You can see on the, the deck fittings are all bonded and through bolted, as are the grab rails. It's nothing surface mounted, which is a sign of better security, better quality. Okay, the boat is a little bit older, it's a little bit tattier, but the gel coat repairs are going to be carried out. For a, for a 99 boat with a Evenrude E-Tech 90 horsepower outboard sitting on the back for around £6,000, I think this represents a really good day boat buy. We're here at Salkin Boat Sales where we found three different types of dory. We've got two Delkeys, which are British made, and one Boston Whaler, which is the American classic. Let's start with this Sportsman 17. It's got a very straightforward centre console layout. You're going to see this a lot. Lots of deck area, little seat at the front, and some useful storage at the back. But this is your classic centre console layout for a dory. So what we're looking at here is the cathedral hull design, which gives you great stability, lots and lots of speed, but with its sort of wide, flat design, it will be a hard ride in rough weather. This This smaller Delkey here, it's only 15 feet, it's a 15 Euro Sport. It's got a side console, again, lots of seating forward. Slightly rarer, but it still works. Next we have this Boston Whaler 17. This is in the Newport layout, which gives you two bench seats. The other version is the Montauk, which is a, a centre console boat. The Montauk's probably the more popular with buyers. Um, like all the dories here, this is an unsinkable boat. Okay, we're on board the Quicksilver 500. It's another centre console style boat. It's ostensibly, it's the same size and style as the Sulcum Fly we looked at earlier on, but because it's that much deeper and that much wider, you just feel like you're getting a lot more boat. On board the Flyer, the uh, combings were up to the knee here, it's up to your thigh, so you feel a lot more enclosed, a lot more protected. You've got more seating, there's more storage, there's a sun pad at the front, a separate helm area, a larger 90 horsepower Johnson outboard. So, as I say, for the same money as the Salkin Flyer, around £8,000, the same length, but a lot more usable boat. This is a 1995 Avon Sea Sport 425, and it's probably the cleanest 17 year old boat I've ever seen in my life. This has obviously been someone's real pride and joy. I reckon it must have been kept indoors its whole life and just brought out to be used on occasion because there's no UV degradation anywhere, and even the seats, there's not a single stitch out of place. Everything on the boat is absolutely perfect. A lot of these boats will have been used as tenders on yachts, but this one's very much been kept as someone's own private little runabout because it's so well equipped. It's got an auxiliary engine bracket there for a little outboard engine. There's a ski tow eye pole on it. There's a fish finder. There's a GPS navigator. 
it's a really well equipped boat in its own right and I think for five and a half thousand pounds you're just not going to find a boat in better condition than this. This is a Glastron 175 bow rider. Now Glastrons aren't the most expensive boats in the world when they're new, they're very much at the budget end of the market. But what I think this boat represents is just how much boat you can get for the money. This is a 2006 boat, it's got a Volvo 135 horsepower petrol engine in it, which is an inboard stern drive rather than an outboard. And look at it, it's got massive space on it, there's room for six people to go out and have a great day out. It's sat on a road trailer and it's seven and a half thousand pounds. It's a tremendous amount of boat for the money. Now on our £5,000 boat challenge, our editor Carl has been looking at dories and very sensible boats like that. He's obviously got it completely and utterly wrong because I found this, which is absolutely incredible. It's a Phantom 20. It's got a 225 horsepower Yamaha on it. It'll reach speeds of past 70 miles an hour. It's basically a race boat, although it's not set up as a race boat, it's set up as a sports boat. But what a fantastic piece of kit for under £5,000. This is what it's all about back here. This is a 225 horsepower V6 Yamaha, and that is going to give the boat some serious, serious performance. What's quite nice is for most people, they would never ever get towards the limitations of that engine, so you can be fairly sure that an engine like that on a boat like this is actually going to be reasonably unstressed. Inside the boat, it's very simple and very straightforward. You've got two fantastic body-hugging race seats here and a simple bench at the back. There's a ski-toe eye for a bit of skiing. It's going to do everything you want, really.